we spent four years of our us working so hard to yeah. you know get our qualification yeah. and trust me it's not for the faint-hearted okay trust me when i say that <laughs> if you could describe kings in one word what would it be shut <laughs> hey guys and welcome to today's youtube video hey guys how are you <laughs> Today I am with one of my best friends, Navid. Do you want to talk about how we know each other? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, guys. I just we just had a nice pizza and a meal. Yes. It was yeah, nice to catch up, so Regina. Good. We had firstly, catch up first. Let me tell you. So I met the lovely Regina at university. <laughs> At first, I think university, uh, Regina found me some, I think she, I think you found me like a weirdo in the beginning. No, so, <laughs> like you were the, one of the first people that I remember, because we were in the lecture like, theatre, oh, yeah, and all I remember is your voice going, excuse me, excuse me, and I was like, who is that guy at the front just constantly stopping the lecturer, going, excuse me? I, I, yeah, I was just like, I think I was a bit like the odd one out, out of everyone, like... Yeah, you all, you still I just, are. <laughs> I was just being myself and having fun and just not giving a shit about anything really. Exactly. Mind my, my language, sorry. Yes, so we both went to King's College London. Yes, we went to King's. We spent four years of our life at that damn university, but which is <laughs> fun. I just want to be forward with you guys and just be like, uni for me was okay-ish, nothing special. It just felt like college, especially because the campus was just more like uni home. It was more like nice. <laughs> yeah. Because we were based on like Waterloo campus yeah. and Waterloo campus was just the building. But at least with guys, Even that there building, was... just going past that building, and it's so depressed. Anxiety. I know. Oh, it's so disgusting, isn't it? And it's, you know, there's that yeah. smell. There's either the smell of urine or smell of curries whenever you walk around that building. <laughs> it was nasty. It's, it's like you can <laughs> see the London Eye, but it doesn't feel that great, does it? No, it just felt disgusting, and just makes it makes me feel like depressed. Yeah. I just wanted to be on set training, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. While it was in that building, I'll just be honest because I don't want to sugarcoat stuff. I'll just be honest with you so guys. So, would you recommend Kings to someone else? Well, this smile tells it all, doesn't it? Uh, to be honest with you, Kings College. Um, I, I mean, it was. It's <laughs> no, Kings College was okay. To be honest, personally myself, I didn't really enjoy it. I just thought it was really intense, and I felt like the work that they provided us was good. To prepare us as a pharmacist but i think some of the stuff was a bit unnecessary yeah like we did lots of weird like physics and stuff i would recommend king's uh pharmacy if you're like really like into just studying 24 7. <laughs> because i i don't know i just i didn't really take great pleasure of it i think it was stressful <laughs> i just found the people to be really like uh, not friendly i don't think people were very open they were not integrating much with other people i just feel like people were starting to form groups yeah i kind of it didn't feel like going to university it felt more like going to a class after class. A, like a class that you fit in after doing a full-time job in like mcdonald's do you know what i mean yeah like, exactly like you always feel really tired it's like those part-time it's kind like of, those part-time yeah. classes <laughs> didn't feel like you're there all the time there's a reason right? exactly yeah. Uh, yeah there was a lot of coursework Coursework, which courseworks, yeah, <laughs> my ass, but yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. The courseworks were like, I'm trying to find a very appropriate word to use the courseworks. I don't know. They were just Maybe. weird. They were they weird. They were weird, like. <laughs> and like unnecessary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of the grades mostly came from like begging people in the year above <laughs> for their coursework. The courses are just literally impossible to and do by really yourself. And it was really hit and miss, isn't it? Hit so and miss, you, you yeah. either get like 80 or, you or like 20%. It was just weird, like you'd never. I, literally, I think coursework was one of the reasons that saved my life in getting a 2-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I agree. But this girl, Hun Jong Lee, did get a first class girl, so yeah. No, but we all know that that was a fluke, so yeah. No, it's not. But anyway, but... I feel like we didn't do as much practical stuff you know for community yeah that's we didn't true. have many placements but also when like we were learning i think a lot of the theory yeah instead of true. actual more of the practical stuff that i just felt like we just another word to say we just spent time on shitty stuff which was unnecessary <laughs> and i was that, gonna say kings is more research based but if you want to take his yeah word, no i'm just being straight because i just felt like in all respect i feel like we didn't focus a lot on practice of like how to be a pharmacist yeah. We were just really more in labs doing unnecessary stuff like trying to figure out how to use bloody pipettes, uh, yeah. making up tablets, suspensions, which we know we don't even do that anymore now. We're just, all we do is kind of like work in either hospital community yeah. majority of time yeah. where we use like our clinical expertise, you know what I mean? Trying to actually put all the facts out there to the public. Yeah. Um, and that's which what we, we didn't learn much at, at uni. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
But what did you say, Regina? Did you enjoy your time at uni? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. No. I really did not enjoy my time. I swear, if you don't no. enjoy uni, trust me, the working life is better. Right? There's hope for those who hate university. If you enjoy it, then good for you. But if you hated it, like me, mm. know that you can actually enjoy pharmacy and enjoy the job, actually. Exactly. Which we weren't expecting, were we? No, to be honest, because I'll be honest with you, at first when I started working community pharmacy, for me, it felt a bit boring and a bit repetitive, yeah. but I kind of like the business aspect of pharmacy. So that's what I've kind of like gone into now and I've been drawn to that kind of field. Yeah. So I just think it depends on um, what you're passionate about and which field you want to work in as a pharmacist. We have a question from Yanzi Jong, which is, did you make your own notes during uni by writing them down or typing it out? <laughs> Um, we had very different yeah, well, approaches <laughs> to this, didn't we? I I took it like way overboard. So I never, I could never think about doing just lecture slides. So I would be like, right, I'm gonna get this textbook. I bought like two hundred pounds worth of like textbooks oh, and yeah, stuff. And then I'd like go deep into it, and then I would make sure that the lecture slide. I knew everything about the lecture slide, and then I spent ages <laughs> looking into the books and then transferring the notes from the books <laughs> oh, into the gosh. lecture slides, and then making them all oh, electronic and blah blah. And then when it came to the exams, because I had all the information there, but I couldn't, I didn't have time mm. to memorize it. Because there was so much because information. Because there was just too much information. Yeah. And then Navid was like, what are you doing? Just learn the lecture slides, because that's enough. And, th and then by about third year, I picked that up from you. <laughs> and by third year, I stopped making idiotic notes. My technique was just trying to get people's note around the lecture and trying to photocopy that. <laughs> Okay, so we have a best friend called Mariam. We we're in a group with me, yeah. David, Mariam and Zayda. But Mariam would turn up at every lecture. She would take notes there and then, Lord, really quickly. Yeah, I remember. There and then, really good notes. And we just basically... And then with me, I was... Oh, yeah. I would like literally say, Mariam, please, do you mind if I can kindly <laughs> borrow your notes? I can just photocopy them so I can memorise everything. I By the time the slides. notes reached me, the staple would be gone because he'd have put it, and he put it through the, the photocopying machine. Like, yeah. We, we, you know, we basically owe her our degree. Do you remember that time about my coursework, Navid 1, Navid 2, two, yeah. two, two, two. yeah, he had this coursework piece and he asked so many people to edit it. And he edited it so much, it was literally one final, 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 updated, updated, final, final, definitely final, final. It was so, like, it was crazy. That was so funny. Okay. So don't go overboard. If you're at King's College, don't go overboard with your notes. Yeah. The lecture slides are enough, but make sure you've got notes on the lecture slides. I would just say also another point to add in is that... Um, listen to the recordings of the lectures yeah. and try and maybe spot anything they say because sometimes in the recordings they might maybe say something that's specific Helpful to the exam. Yeah. So try and listen to that because that kind of helped me as well to understand the yeah. topic if I couldn't understand it yet. Okay, well. Kai Men Liao asked, how did you study for your pharmacy exams? And is it safe to study at London now? I guess it, in terms of safety. You're well, what do you mean safety in terms of what? Terrorist what, attack or something? No, no, corona. Oh, corona. Wait. But, no, but I'm interested in terms of what safety. Do you mean of corona or like genuinely? Because corona spread all around the world. There's a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. We're not laughing. No, sorry, sorry. It's the pandemic. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because if you're saying London, if it's safe, I mean, literally, the whole world is not safe at the moment. So I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay, not, so I'm how did bitch. you study for your pharmacy exams? How did you study? <laughs> Sorry, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so basically, how I studied for my exam was like I said, it was just to photocopy the lecture. <laughs> photocopy someone else's lecture slides and memorize them. And that's all we can say about the pharmacy that's exams. That's true, because. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a question from Kithu16. Any advice to get through third year? So, so, <laughs> photocopy lecture notes. <laughs> You know what? I should have sold those lectures. I would have been making millions. Okay, that. so Sorry. that was, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> how you should, because obviously in third year, I think you've got that OSCE exam. It's in regards to OSCE's work as a group, as a, like. <laughs> <laughs> work as a group, well, so well. that you can each tell each other what was at each station. To be honest, to be honest, that, that's just how it is. Yeah. I would say, revise, I mean, everyone's going to say this, but obviously revise on in time. Like, by third year, First year, you're like, it's, it's like a blur, right? Very true. Second year was my like downfall. Yeah. And then third year, I picked myself back up and I was yeah. like, right, I actually know what, how to do this yeah. now. And I know that I can't leave it as late as I did last year. That's true. So yeah. revise early and 
and get help, as much help as possible. Yeah, through. and definitely ask ask for help <laughs> if you can. Especially through teach. I mean, I have to say the lecturers at Kings were nice. I mean, some were straight, but genuinely they were all nice. So if you need any help, you can always reach out to them. Our snog just arrived. Mm. Mm. HXNA2X asks, is first year a big jump from A-levels? And what was the most interesting module or topic? I personally think it was a big step. When I started first year, I was really confused because I was like, what the hell is this? Like, we even had like a calculation test when we started, wasn't it? Something, mm -hmm. and I was confused. I was like, how am I meant to revise for this? What do I need to do? I have to say it took like three months in order for me to kind of understand this whole system of how to revise. Because I was like you, I was in the beginning using all textbooks to try and put and gather information, but yeah. that was a waste of time. And then third year, what happened is I went around asking people who are above, like above us, asking for their advice on how they did it. And all they said is just use the lecture notes, listen to the recordings, and you'll be fine. And that's how it was. But to be honest, when you start, you know, it's normal for you to kind of feel lost or you don't know what you're doing. But eventually with time, you're gonna get the grasp of it. Yeah, I thought it was a big jump. The, the, the quantity is just really different. So you go from just learning, being able to learn a whole textbook overnight mm. to not being able to yeah, I know. learn all your lecture slides in one night. And I learned that the hard way, so. I know, what sorry. was the most interesting module or topic in first year? Do you remember? Do you even mm. remember any? Interesting. <laughs> interesting module. <laughs> Sorry. Next question, next question. Okay. Sorry. Did you not like cord? Chemistry of drugs. Hated it. I wanted to die. Agna25 asks, is there a lot of biology you have to learn during the course? Duh. Yeah. Yeah, I will assume. If you want biology, you're gonna get a whole load of biology, playboy or play girls. Oh, Everything is biology in that in, in pharmacy. You better have lots of omega-3 because you need to get your brain working and memorize a lot of facts. Oh, crrr, just yeah. saying. Alina Baby Twenty Eight asks, mm. "Have you ever wished you picked another degree or profession?" Hmm. I I I haven't. After I became a pharmacist, I didn't. I've never. I've never looked back. So you like pharmacy now? Yeah, I didn't during uni, but I do now. To be honest, I wouldn't know, actually, I would not change the degree because I feel like with pharmacy, the good thing about pharmacy in all respect is that you have a job always available when you leave uni. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you can even locum, you always have jobs available. But I feel like with other courses, it's always competition to try and get a job. Yeah. So in that aspect, this is a good thing where you always have a job after you finish uni. Okay, so that's kind of the, all the questions on university. Do you want to say some good stuff about Kings? Do we have anything? Um, I think... Do you want to start first? <laughs> no, do you want to start first? No, I have to be honest with you guys. One thing Miss Kings has made me, has made me grow a bit of a thick skin as well. You know, it's been four years of an emotional roller coaster journey, I think for me. And what about you? I think for you as well, Regina. Oh yeah, absolutely. There were lots of ups, ups and downs. And obviously there were some people that I was, like, you know, you think that they're good people, but then they kind of turn out to be a bitch. And that kind of was a shock to me because I was always like living in this bubble where everyone is so super duper friendly, honest, loyal, trustworthy, but it kind of feels like a backstab in the back, like that, like a backstab. But that's not, that's not about the uni itself though, is it? No, but I feel like Regina, like the people that are in the uni plays a big role of your whole experience of a uni life. Yeah. Because you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's the people that make the uni yeah. life experience what it's worth. Mm. The Skin, lecturers, no? some of them were really talented, like really smart. Like you had some of the top researchers mm -hmm. giving us lectures. So that was good. One good thing was, I have to say, was the look, yeah, the location that was next to Big, you yeah. know, Big Ben, London Eye. <sighs> I'm trying to think of good things. So that's the end of our video. <laughs> if you've got any questions about Kings, leave them in the comments below. It wasn't meant to be too negative, it was just a bit of a joke really, so I hope that that's okay. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, Bye. guys.